Hello everyone and welcome back to season four of our New York Red Bull save. So lots to go over and two big games to be played. Also you can see there's been some kind of mental signings recently in the league like Nicolas Pepe is now playing for Nashville. Just kind of ridiculous. I'm assuming he's on a DP deal. Yeah he's a dozen eight player. But uh like that's just kind of crazy to me with some of them. So you can see we made some signings. We did have to release a player and we made some trades. So I think probably the best to go here, right? Transfer history. Uh, did did you guys? Yeah, Acton would have been on the team. So, um, pretty much what's happened is is that I was trying to resign some deals and I couldn't get everyone in. And in doing so, uh, Marucci and Heidman, I wasn't able to agree terms with. They wanted, like, Heidman wanted a DP deal, and I couldn't give it to him. Um, he just wanted loads of money, and Marucci just wanted more than I would, like, higher squad role than I was willing to give. So, because of that, they could be taken in the re-entry draft, which is for players that have not signed deals. So both of them were taken in the re-entry draft. But, because of that means I was given a supplementary pick in the, uh, in another draft, which I just didn't take. So it's whatever, but I was given supplementary stuff. Now we signed all our academy players. Um, decent player here. No one like too amazing, I'd say. But some players with some something there. You know what I mean? There's some players with something. Um, there's Daniel Miazga, which I love because if you're a Red Bulls fan, you know Matt Miazga. So I don't think they're brothers. I doubt it would create someone like that. But um. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, yeah, we got some staff turnover. Nah, he's not related. That would be really funny, though. He's U.S. and Mexican. Hmm. Um, but, yeah, like, some of them, they're all right. No one insane, but uh, just something there. So, but in the reentry draft, we did select a center back. We got this guy in, Ahmed Longmire. Uh, he's pretty decent for, like, what he is. I mainly like him because he's got really good heading, and his passing is 12 and vision 11, and he's good at both feet. So... He's just going to be a decent player that we can play because we're moving to ball playing center backs now. So we're going to need someone that's good at doing those things. And uh, he's good enough to suit the role. His technique's not amazing, not everything incredible, but he's good enough to do it. Switches ball in wide areas, tries long range passes. I don't love the knocks ball past opponent thing. Um, I think I'm trying to train it out of him, but why is he not? Well, that's weird. But someone here who could be decent to us, so. Something to look at. Uh, we also got this guy in. In what was it? Uh, yeah, this was a. Uh, this is a just a player I found who didn't survive one of the drafts, and I just picked him up uh, after a trial. Uh, the the fifteen fourteen and the fifteen there. There are just some stats that it looked interesting. So we'll see if anything comes of him. And then uh, we got this guy Gustavo Bonilla uh, as well, who I just found via scouting uh, youth competitions. So. He was supposed to be a little better, but I guess now it's not as good. Uh, I thought he was supposed to be four-star potential, but something there. Uh, the big player for me, I think it's this guy. Is it? Is it? It's Gonzalez or is it right? No, I'm pretty sure it's Gonzalez. I think Gonzalez is the one that's like the the big one that they said is like the best player. Oh, I have to do the training for those guys. But so that's the kind of end of the window there before the end of the before the start of the new year. Now. We get to the draft where we took two players. Um, first off, Andre Reyes is left, so he's gone. Bye bye, Reyes. We needed ball playing defenders. He's not good enough in my book. He would be a backup. He didn't want to be a backup. I'm taking this Ukrainian American kid first in the draft. We had the first overall pick in the draft, by the way, because we got it through some smart trading. And we've got him in. So I'm very excited because he's very versatile, very good, really high pace, really high determination. Um,. Spirited, which is an amazing high teamwork, but I really like what I see from him. He's if we can keep him and keep him going, he's gonna be amazing. I'm training on wing back support because that's what uh, we're gonna be playing on that wing. But he looks he could be really useful. We also drafted this Iranian American goalkeeper. Really funny that I drafted like the most international guys, but he's a sweeper keeper on defend, which is what we're playing now. And he's young, got some potential. He's six three, which is pretty good. And I like that he was decent with both feet. And uh, so yeah, I just. We'll take him. The draft wasn't amazing players, but uh, we'll have him work on his uh, short distribution as well. Uh, but here is the first big signing. Andreas Borset. 
Oh my god, this man is mental. Look how good this dude is. Like, he's unreal for what he- he's mental. <clears throat> Brings ball under defense. <clears throat> Crosses early as well, which is brilliant for me. Because if he's higher up the pitch, um, I, I don't know, I'm just in love. I, he's incredible. He's 6'1", too. So, he's not tall. He's not short. But, yeah, he looks brilliant. I'm so excited to have him. And he's going to start. So, at 18, he's starting in defense. That's that's the big one. So, those are the guys we have there. Now, the player that I really want to bring in is this guy. So, this is our center mid that I want to bring in. He's the one I want to get. We had a deal agreed and everything like that. But the problem is, is uh, I did it and then it didn't go through because the contract restructuring of all my players took like three weeks for some weird reason and i was like oh i've just waited a week i can do the signing of this guy and everything will finish in time no i should have just waited i was scared that i was going to run out of time because he had a release clause so i i missed out on the release clause and now i'm just trying to wait until that they'll accept another bid because right now they just won't even accept any bids but i think i have a package that they'll accept so this is the current package we're going with um a good amount of percentage of next sale, installments, about 1.5, after league appearances, 650k, and 2.5 up front. I think this is a pretty good one, and I'm happy with this. Obviously, they're not going to be able to sell mid-season, but they did agree when I had the, uh, when the, oh my god, when the release calls was triggered, but it expired uh, for them in January. So I'm trying to just get it to work, so hopefully we can get him in. I really like him. I th To me, he looks brilliant. A 21 year old player young guy we're gonna bring him on a dp deal what i really like about him is that he's good enough to play as the deep lane playmaker on support that we're looking for right so he can do that really well he tries killer balls often which is one of the big things i want uh he also is decent enough to play as a ball winner i mean the aggression and the marking needs to go up but he's decent enough to do that stuff and if we need advanced playmaker on attack he can do that as well so he covers all three midfield positions really really easily and it's just a very good player overall, and I think it's very useful. I mean, look, he can play out at right back if need be. Like, he can cover us on the right back. He can technically play on the wings, too. So, I just, to me, he seems like a really, really good player, like, to have. He's young. He's going to grow. There'll be growth. He's also six feet tall. But I just really like him. Like, he's got really solid physicals. Mentals are really solid as well. And technicals are really solid too. Like obviously the heading is a problem and the finishing, but we're not trying to put him in those roles. We want him deeper. We want him around these areas. So to me, I, I just am really excited because I think if we get him in, he's going to be a great player, the versatility of him. So I'm excited. And that's pretty much the transfer window recap kind of done. Now, this is the new team, the new tactic. Um, I think I did show it to you guys at the end of last season. Um, the one player we are trying to get out is Wardle. We're trying to get him to leave. Now, everybody here you see, with the exception of him, is um, going to be in the first team this season. So, because we have 30 slots, so we have the starting 11, and then we have our extra uh, 16. Right? Am I going crazy, or does that not work? 11, 26, 27... We have three extras. Oh yeah, yeah, and I have three extras. Yeah, in from the academy that I've registered. So everybody's good. We're all set. Um, if you look, uh, sorry, we have twenty nine players set. We're under the wage by a good amount. I've done well to work with the wage on that. Everything's doing great. So like we're really set. Good off budget players. We have nine international spots because like everyone got green cards this year, which I wasn't ready for. So that really helped us a lot. Casserus is one happy, so he may leave. This guy doesn't want to sign a deal with us, which is fine. I just picked him up in the draft, so he'll go. Um, but yeah, so it's actually... I've, the squad's come out really well. We're going to get that... I want to get that guy on a DP. The, the center midfielder is going to be a DP for us. Um, I just want a DP midfielder. Casserus is not the DP midfielder I want, though, because as much as I love Casserus, I don't think he's DP worthy. Like, he's a great player, but he's not a star MLS player. And I think, for me, you have to use him on a star MLS player. Obviously, oh, this guy already is a star MLS player. Also, he's a perfectionist. Like, how? He's unreal, this kid. He's amazing. I don't know how I've never found him before. But uh, he's on a DP deal, and then Van Zier's on a DP deal. So, like, 
sorry, it Van Zier's on a DP, and then it's Lukinas, I believe, is also on a DP. Yeah, which I'm happy with because I love Lukinas. <laughs> but yeah, so definitely it's a little different now because I've tried to get the in essence Farias doesn't want to leave, so I'm trying to get the best out of Farias. And Lokinos as well, I want to get him in. So normally I was going to run a Shadow Striker, but I was looking, and his best position is Advanced Playmaker on attack. So we're going to do that. Also because Shadow Striker requires him to finish and his concentration, which aren't really high. Well, this works better for his attributes, so we're going to go with this. And he's done really well in preseason. Nine goals, eight assists, so he's done really good in preseason for us doing that. So to me, it, it looks like it's working, working for us at least. And in terms of Omir, he's actually not bad at it either. I mean, it's his next best position there, and it's it's he's six point nine three, so it's it's worked well for us. And then Rodriguez is also, if you look, inside forward attack, next best position. So I think these work a little better for everyone in terms of the positions of everything. Obviously, Morgan, it's not his preferred to be on attack, um, but I just want the balance. I still love it; he can play like everywhere. Um, I just prefer the balance of it uh, with that. So that's kind of how it is. But then also Tolkien can kind of sit in these areas here. He doesn't have to overlap as much. And then Duncan and those guys will continue those overlaps. We've gone to a ball winner now this year just because of what's happened last season where I felt we were really poor defensively at times. So he'll do a lot better sweeping up things in these middle areas. And then we have uh, the center backs who will take it, drive forward, pass it around, drive forward, pass it around, and do stuff like that. Now, though, the craziest thing that I've figured out from this preseason is that we have a very unlikely goal threat. He has 11 goals. He scored a hat-trick in preseason. What? He scored a hat-trick in preseason. I also, what is it? Yeah, so I have a 10.5, $10.75 million release clause. He's now worth, because of how well he's done in preseason, 10.5 million. Like, he is just going up and up and up. I mean, what did I, we got him for 600k. But yeah, so I'm, I'm expecting big things out of Bernelli this season. But that's pretty much the team. We have some young players in, and the last spot we need is just this deep playing playmaker. For right now, obviously Edelman will be our shot, because that's what he can play really well, so that's what he'll be. But until we bring that player in, that's the that's what we're looking at. So that is our team. It's, it's definitely a lot. It's kind of big and kind of crazy, but... Yeah, so now into the Monterey game. Obviously, if we win like this game 5-0 or something like that, I won't bother with the next game, but um, I don't think we will, because it's Monterey. They're a very, very good team. Still not fully uh, accustomed to the tactic, but a lot of people are very uh, feel very good. And to me, this is our best team. They want a lot of changes, which I don't really like, and I don't know why they want to push him out wide. He's much better in the middle, in my opinion. We definitely want Yearwood, Melanda's tired, same with Rudy, same with Rodriguez. Yeah, a lot of tired players, unfortunately. Um, Rudy's tired, so we'll we'll put in our um, our Ukrainian kid, just because I think that we're, he's he's probably in the best situation there. We promoted Garcia to the next to the second striker. Oh, we also released Zuniga. That was the other thing we did. Melanda's in the best shape in terms of that. Nasir Clark is slightly injured, so Nasir will play. Now we just need some mid. Fielders and Goma is pretty fit right now, so we'll we'll stick in Goma. Carmona's injured again. I forgot about that. Um, and I guess Omir we got to go with at this point. Yeah, well there we go. That looks like to be our team. Edelman's gonna have a big few games. Uh, obviously, look, I'm gonna keep looking for new players, but I'm really set my. How am I set sight on that uh, on that Serbian boy? And we're going young. Like, I'm getting young players in. Ah, oh, we have a female referee. Katia Itzel Garcia. I didn't really... Oh, you can click on referee profiles? That's kind of cool. They get ratings? What? FM amazes me more and more every day. Wow. Wow. Well, she's a very good ref, it looks like. So we should be good. Or 
early set piece. Tolkien, oh, nearly a debut goal. Yeah, I have made us very aggressive this season, which probably isn't helping with the cards. Brunelli, oh! Yeah, it's definitely already picked up a lot of cards, which isn't great. We didn't have many reds in preseason. I don't think we had a single red in preseason, come to think of it. Oh, Tolkien, that's really poor. All right, all right, we survived that, but that was really poor from Tolkien there. How has it not gone in? How did that not go in? But look at the threat Brunelli is causing on set pieces. He's been amazing. I think subwise. We only have three subs, but I think we'll go with uh, Farias off. Um, Omir's pretty good at that role, right? If I remember, yeah, he's decent inside forward, so we'll we'll do that, but I'd rather uh, no, 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 we'll, we'll keep Omir out there. been a pretty quick game to be honest with you guys <laughs> nothing too much going on if we win this nice job you two. Oh, I thought there was a chance to play Morgan maybe not there's a chance to play Van Zier oh referee referee penalty come on we gonna get it. Help us out here, Var. Yes, here's our opportunity. Come on, Van Zier. You've won it. Time to put it away. Yes, there we go, Van Zier. That's what I'm talking about. That's re that's really good. I'm happy to see that. Now, I, I think what we're going to do is take off Duncan. He's not had the most amazing game. Um, is Tolkien more competent at it? Yeah, but it's really weak. So yeah, we're, we're going to stick with this. That was a wing back on attack. Not the worst. So, Well, he's going to make his debut. And Brunelli's super tired as well. So we'll go with, we'll do a double sub 66 minute. We're out of subs now, but uh, Brunelli really tired is not what we need. Unless takes another yellow off the pitch, which is good. Nice win, Morgan. Go back if you need. Good. There we go. Maintain. Great ball. Van Zier. Lovely finish, but well saved by the keeper. Good pressure, Amir. Did you force the throw in first? Yes, you did. Nice job. Chernetsky. Starting off. First game. First professional game. <laughs> really, first opportunity he gets on the pitch. <clears throat> um. They have Ruben Loftus cheek. What? <laughs> Wasn't expecting to see that. Late set piece. Can we defend this? 
Looks like we can. Oh, ho, ho! what a hit! You've got to be kidding me. Well cleared. Oh, second chances. That's over, but it's blocked. I don't want to change on a corner, but if we get this out, I think we'll go defensive. Going into our defensive shape. There we go. 1-0 win. Nothing crazy. Debut man of the match performance from Borset. Bors I gotta look up how you say his name. I don't know how you say that O. I don't know how that's pronounced, that O with the line through it. But uh I'll look I'm gonna look that up so I know in between games. But yeah, very, very well done. Very, very special. Very happy with that. Went to Mexico and won. Can't really complain. But I am now going to skip ahead to the next game, and I will uh, catch you guys then. And both players are suspended now. <laughs> Hey everyone, we've now skipped ahead. Uh, nothing interesting besides the fact that we finalized our captains and uh, that uh, Atlanta wanted to trade for Rodriguez, but I just said, no thank you, because uh, he is uh, too important. Mostly because I think he's really good. <laughs> he is better than Melanda. I'm pretty sure. Well, with him there, I think we can go with Melanda for now. And they can deal with it. Like, I think it's okay that we go, with it. we go with it for now and deal with it. So that we okay. But um, we have him at least in there, which is good. So Yearwood. Put Rodriguez in. Garcia. And Omir. I think that's probably our best bench. Because obviously there's like a lot. I find it funny. We have three left backs. Reed, Ofori, and... Uh, and uh where is he and uh Cher chernetsky i find it funny like reed's all honestly done really well like i didn't realize how good he's gotten but uh i just he's a little slow a four is still decent too he's gone down though we'll see i find it funny but we finally have bento who's going to be part of the first team who could be pretty good so we'll see he's a backup playmaker in the middle We'll pretty much go with this squad, though. I was pretty happy with the last game. Yes, fucking great player, great player. Diabate, why this guy sounds familiar to me. Where has he played? Uh, information report, no. I think I remember him from Leicester. Pretty sure that's what I remember him for. I don't know, he just looks really familiar to me. One of those things where you're like, I can't put my finger on it, but he just looks familiar. Rudy, throw in. Van Zier. Oh my god, the routine was perfect! Oh, that was a perfect routine. Well done, boys. Well done. Well done. Really well done. Lukinos. Back post! Ooh, Melanda nearly got his head on that. Sorry, right, nearly headed that into the goal. He did get his head on that. Clipped forwards, headed clear, and Van Zier can get onto it. On to Morgan now. Can drive down the wing. He doesn't have a pass. Goes back to Rudy. Finds Luquinhos. Lovely finish from the Brazilian. Oh, yeah, he's off. I, he looked off. He did look off. <laughs> no! <laughs> what a pass! Let's see it. 
Ooh, he looks off. Great finish. It's a lovely finish, I have to say. Back post, Luki. Oh, Melanda. It's a great start, though. It's exactly what we needed. It gives us that cushion. Why did we get, like, the hardest team? I mean, like, Ellie Gaussi got Pachuca, which is, is pretty tough, too. But we got the hardest team. Freaking hell. I mean, I guess it's good, because if we can beat Monterey, we can go far. Oh, Luquinhos. Too much there. Yes, Melanda! Nice job, Rudy. Wins it back. Morgan. Great pass, Van Zier. Oh, well done. Well done to get that off the line. That's one of the things that, like, that's why I want to get Stan uh, Stankovic. I think it's, that's who it was. I can't remember the Serbian guy's name. But, uh, Tolkien. Really well done. Oh, how is that not gone in? <laughs> but that's the reason I really want to get him in. Because he tries those killer balls. And if you see what we have, we have players making those runs constantly. So, with them making a lot of those runs, I really want to get players that will play those passes. Van Zier, great save again. My god, they're playing brilliantly today. But give credit to Monterey in this game so far. They've been really good defensively. They've really not made it easy for us. Got them some great saves. Again, Farias is struggling. He, I don't know about him being good enough for this league, it looks like. He's definitely concerning me. Let's give the chance to Rodriguez, because he deserves it. He's not playing well. But, you know, I'm happy with Edelman. Edelman has been doing great these past two games, which is really lovely to see. And maybe, look, I mean, obviously we're going to bring someone in, so I want to, but it's been great to see. The Norwegian new boy's not having the greatest of games so far. I think the two subs we'll probably make are going to be him and um, Caceres. I want to get him the Yearwood on. I think he'll just be good to help kill the game a little later on. But depending on um, what time it is, I might take off Edelman. What a great pass from him. Speaking of him, oh, it's to Daniel Edelman. Take a bow. What a through ball that is. And Van Zier looks like he might be ready to continue his fine form. From I mean, last season he still got 30, I think. But, uh... The season before, he, the two seasons before, he was the best player in the league. And hopefully that can continue. It was a risk letting go of, uh, of McGlynn. But roster-wise and, and things... Okay, okay, we saved ourselves. But roster-wise and, and, like, wanting certain amounts of money and stuff, it ended up being the right decision, I think, in the end. So, hopefully it works out. It's all right. Can we get there? Nope. Cornell just can't get there in time. He's very good. So three one now in aggregate. Um, I think I think we go. We'll wait a little bit longer. I think we go to like the 80th minute or so, and then we'll go defensive and we'll stick on Yearwood for Edelman because he's going to be better in that that role. We go to this. Uh, Rodriguez isn't very comfortable in that role. That's okay. We can do this, though. Get people a little more comfortable, at least. And then uh, go Yearwood here for Edelman. Who's better at the anchor role? Yearwood is. Mm -hmm. They're more, more comfortable with those. So we'll stick with that. Praise them for the 
game they've played. And there we go. Lovely job. The defensive tactic worked brilliantly in the end. Van Zier, man of the match. A 2-1 victory against Monterey. And we've won both ties against them. Both legs of the tie against them. And into the next round. New faces getting some game time. People doing all right. We've got to figure out that left wing roll, though. Because it doesn't seem to be working totally how we want. But it's, uh, it's working. We're into the next round. Can't complain about that, can we? Now we face Atlanta United. Ay, it's just not not fun. They don't want to make it easy for us. When we face them, pretty soon. So, yeah. Oh, what a next episode that's going to be. That is a great next episode. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to end it here just because of a uh, because of time, and it's going to be a long one. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, if you did, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you want to catch up on some of the future videos, you can hit the notification bell. Like our next episode, which will be taking on NYCFC in the Hudson River Derby at home, as well as hosting Atlanta United in the second leg of the Champions League. So that's going to be a big one. It's quarterfinals. Looking to get into the finals. We missed out last year, but we made it uh, season two, made it to the finals. Lost NYCFC. So that would be a big one, especially with the Derby game and... Uh, and yeah, oof, that's good. That's going to be a big game. I hope you guys are ready for that one. But the notification bell so you don't miss out on that. If you guys want to catch up on some of the prior episodes as well, you can do so by following along in the link in the description or at the one at the end of this video, which will have a playlist to all of the Red Bull episodes from the season, as well as a video that talks about MLS roster rules and things like that. So you can get a bit of idea of what I have to deal with behind the scenes when I'm building these teams. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. <laughs> I'm not a woman.